Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And firstly, I just want to say, you know this piece of hair? It's really bothering me. Let's just ignore that. But today I am showing you guys how I created this eyeshadow look using the Adeline Morin by Tarte Cosmetics palette. And it comes with nine eyeshadows and a blush and a highlight. So yeah, this is a really pretty palette. Super neutral, easy for traveling and for everyday wear as it's just basic everyday neutral shades, which is great because it's super easy if you're a beginner with makeup to use because you have your nice light transition shades, deeper matte shades and also some shimmer shades as well for the lid. And you also have a blush and a highlight as well, which makes it perfect for traveling. And I created this half cut crease type of look here. It's a full matte eyeshadow look and I just added a wing liner as well. And Adeline Morin is the queen of yellow. So of course the palette is yellow as well. And I love the pink in the middle because pink is my favorite color. And yeah, I freaking love Adeline. Congrats to Adeline for this amazing collab with Tarte Cosmetics. I know that she's a huge fan of Tarte. So it's really great that she collabed with a brand that she truly does like. And yeah, I hope you guys like this look and video. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. And also be sure to let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see from me next. And with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, my brows are done and I've already applied my primer onto this eye. I just applied the usual P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5. And now I'm going to get started with playing with the Adeline Morin palette by Tarte Cosmetics. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Very neutral, very wearable for every day. I love Adeline. I think she's so talented and is so creative with her videos. I love the way she edits and I love her positivity. And yeah, let's just stop rambling, get started with this look. So I am wanting to do like a half cut crease kind of look today. So firstly, I'm going to be going in with the shade Beat Bop right here. It's just the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M456 to pack it onto my outer corner and into my crease. And I'm just blending out the edge just a little bit, just so it blends in more seamlessly with the next shade. And I'm just going to quickly apply the primer to the other eye, and I'll be right back. And I'm just going to apply that Beat Pop shade onto my other eye. And I'm going in with this super fluffy Morphe brush. It is the E27. And I'm going to be going in with the more orangey warm tone shade called Boss Lady. And I'm just going to blend that back and forth into my crease. The shadows are applying super pigmented and they're super easy to blend as well, which is great especially if you want this like for an everyday palette just quick on the go and for traveling you can just apply these shadows so easily because they apply super pigmented and blend super quickly and now we're going to be moving on to the transition shade and how could i use this palette and not use the yellow shade down here called girls supporting girls like adeline is the queen of yellow and the queen of supporting girls as well and this is the yellow shade of the palette so obviously going to use that so i'm going to apply that with my morphe e27 brush just above the crease and blending it upwards towards my brow bone and as i said it's going to act as my transition shade and i'm going back in with the burnt orange crease shade boss lady and we're applying that into my crease Now going back in with the first brush, the M456 with Beat Bop, which was the darkest shade we applied. And I'm just going to reapply that into my outer corner and in my crease as well to bring back a bit more of the depth and darkness. Now going back in with the crease brush, but no additional shadow, just to blend all the shades together. And doing the same thing with the other brush just to bring back a little bit of the yellow from whatever is left over on the brush 
So now I'm going to do a half cut crease. So I'm just going to go in with the P. Louise base again in the shade 0.5 with my Morphe M224 brush and just going slightly above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. And actually, like instead of going just halfway with the cut crease, I'm going to go more like three quarters of the way. But I'm basically just creating the outline for the cut crease right now. Now I'm just grabbing a cotton tip with some micellar cleansing water and I'm just going to clean up the lids to remove any of the excess shadow underneath the cut crease just to make sure that the cut crease will stand out as much as possible and the base doesn't mix with the shadow when I'm reapplying on the lid. Usually I use a makeup wipe but I actually don't have any left so I have to go in with a micellar water but literally both work just as well. This way you can get a bit more precise if you find the makeup wipe to be too big. So now you can see more of the shape of the cut crease and how it looks. So now I'm just going to reapply the base onto this eye and then go in with the palette and pick up the shade angels just to apply on the base and use as my lid shade and then I'm going to repeat that process onto the other eye. And then when I get to the end I'm just going to dab it just to blend it more seamlessly. And I'm just going to tap once I get to the end just to blend it out more seamlessly. Okay guys, I'm sorry if the lighting keeps on changing in this video, the sun just keeps coming and going, so sorry about that, it really bothers me. But um, now I'm going back in with the yellow girls supporting girls shade and I'm just going to dab that just here to blend in with the lid shade. Now I'm doing the same thing with that crease boss lady shade. I'm actually going to go back in with the yellow just to add a bit more of it. Now I'm going back in with the M456 brush and the Big Bob shade and just reapplying that to the outer corner just to really deepen it up. I'm just going back in with the crease shade just a little bit. So I really like how that orange pops on there. Now you guys, I don't know if I should apply a wing liner or not. Someone decided. Okay, so I've decided I will do the black wing liner, but um, I'm just gonna quickly do it off camera because my camera is actually overheating at the moment and I probably won't even get in the frame anyway when trying to apply the liner. So yeah, I need to turn off my camera so it can rejuvenate itself. And yeah, I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the waterproof creme color in the shade Jet. I actually haven't used it yet, I've just taken some out there because I tried it on the back of my hand last night and it actually came out so creamy and so easy to glide and I was actually shook because I wasn't expecting that at all because I don't usually play with gel liners and that sort of thing. Hopefully this turns out well but yeah I will be right back once I've got my wing liner on. Okay so I just did my eyeliner now and also the brush I used was this Morphe M50-1 brush, if you can focus, hello, yeah, if you can see on there, M250-1, and it's just a super precise little brush, and that's what I used to get this liner, probably would have liked it if I did it a bit thicker, but I don't want to stuff it up, so I'm just going to leave it as is, so now I'm just going to quickly off camera, go ahead and grab some micellar water and clean up the edges of my eyes and do most of my face makeup because I just want this video to be mainly focusing on the eyeshadow palette and so far I'm really really liking the way it's looking and yeah I will be right back. 
Okay, so now I am back and as you can see, most of my face is done and you guys already know the drill. If you want to know what products I used on my face, just be sure to check out my Instagram because I will have a post on there listing all the products I used. So now it's time for highlight and the Adeline Lauren palette actually does come with a highlight and blush except i won't be using either of them just because i want a highlight that's a bit more golden this is a bit more silvery light champagne kind of shade i want something more golden to match with the warm tone on the eyes so the highlight i will be using is the kylie cosmetics in the shade quartz and it's like a super light gold shade and i'm just gonna go in with my morphe m501 brush and spray it with my Anastasia Dewy Set just to dampen it up and make sure the highlight is as pigmented as it can be. And as always, just going in with my finger to highlight my nose and Cupid's bow. And now for blush, again, I'm not going in with the one from the palette just because it's more pinky tone and I want something that's a bit more peachy and orangey for this look just to match with the warm tone eyes. So I'm going in with my Anastasia Peachy Love Blush Trio and I'm just going to go in with this shade right on the end here. It is called Miami and I'm just applying the blush to my cheek. And just real quick, I'm just gonna chisel out my jawbone. I'm not really baking, I'm just cleaning up the line with whatever powder was left from when I baked under my eyes. I'm just gonna just dust on there. Okay, now let's finish off with the eyes. Okay, so firstly I'm going in with this flat definer brush and I'm just going to pick up the deepest shade Beat Bop and I'm just going to stamp that onto my outer half of my lower lash line. And now I'm going in with this brush that comes in all the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to go in with the crease shade Boss Lady and just smoke out my entire lower lash line. And now I'm just going in with this like flat pencil brush and I'm picking up the shade Girls Supporting Girls and I'm just going to further smoke out my lower lash line and bring a bit of that yellow into the lower lash line. And now I'm just going back in with a bit of a boss lady to bring back a bit of the orange on the lower lash line. And now I'm just going in with this super precise Morphe brush, it is the E35 brush and I'm going to go back in with the deep shade Beat Bob and I'm just going to like go around the cut crease just to bring back a bit more of the depth and darkness and make the cut crease stand out more. And now I'm going back in with that pencil brush I used for the lower lash line and I'm picking up the yellow shade Girls Supporting Girls and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye so I can have like a yellow inner corner. And I'm just going to go in with my detail shader brush, spray it with a bit of dewy set and go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Quartz highlight that I used on my face and just highlight my inner corners and my brow bones. And now I'm just going in with a clean fluffy brush just to blend out that harsh probably highlight. Now I'm just going to quickly just retouch my brows because sometimes when you're doing your makeup and you've done your brows first, you can get powder on them and all. So I just like to clean them up and just retouch when necessary. Now I'm just going to set my face using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes. And just apply some mascara to my top lashes only for now. And then just quickly off camera I'm going to apply my Lily Lashes in the style 
so extra my own light. Now I am back and I'm just going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Black Eyeliner and applying it in my waterline. And now I'm just going to apply my mascara to my bottom lashes. And now for lips, I'm just going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in the shade Ginger. So I did just apply some of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and just right to the center of my lips just because I felt like it should make the lips a bit glowy because the eyes are matte. So yeah, just, that was just a last minute decision. And yeah, that's it for the look in this um, hair. It's really bothering me. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys like it and learned something from it. Again, if you did like it, you guys know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And make sure you also have my notifications turned on so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and all my other socials. They're always listed down below in the description box and right at the end of the video. See you then guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.